Welcome back to my channel. Today is puppy pickup day. This is actually crazy and I just need to explain this to you guys because this is a total surprise. Obviously on purpose, I wanted to tell you guys this on the day that we're getting him and this was just totally like, I wanna say out of the blue, but I just need to explain everything. If you guys are new to my channel, I actually had to put down my very first dog, my childhood dog back on February 1st. So like a little over three months ago. And if you know me, you know that I loved my dog. His name was Timmy. He was my whole entire world. I had begged my dad for a dog my whole entire childhood and he was just like the best thing I could have ever had in my whole life. So it was really heartbreaking putting him down and I know that's just like the circle of life when it comes to dogs but I took some clips of Timmy which I'll show you guys at the end of this video on his very last day because he had gotten really sick and we just knew that there was nothing else we could do and it was just time. That was over three months ago and at the time I I took those clips on his last day of all of us like saying goodbye to him and being with him on his last day and I just could not get myself to look at these clips like I just couldn't because I had been crying a lot I honestly had been grieving my dog's passing like all these months since and I just wasn't ready to look at that footage up until around two weeks ago I was just going about my normal Sunday I hadn't really like had plans to look at that footage but it was nighttime I had a pretty chill day and all of a sudden I just had this thought like I'm ready to look at the footage I finally got myself to look at the footage of my dog's last day three months later and another piece of context is that in the last couple of weeks I would say maybe the around maybe around the last month or so I have been looking online for just any baby shih tzus in Virginia because that's where I live just to see because I knew I would want to get a dog me and my partner Thomas have always talked about getting a shih tzu of our own and just having that whole experience of getting him when he's a baby and just doing that raising it together so I had been kind of reaching out but every little shih tzu that I found was taken so it just wasn't the right time and I told myself like okay when the time's right I will find one and we will take him home. So it was all just really weird timing because on the night that I got myself to look at Timmy's last day clips, I was crying, I was crying, and I was just like having a moment to myself. But literally, you guys, five minutes later, the breeder for the Shih Tzu that we're getting today got back to me, said that this little guy was available and that I was actually the first one to reach out. So if I wanted him, then he would be mine. So it was all just really, really crazy. I feel like the timing was in a way very perfect. I would really like to believe that my dog in heaven sent me this little shih tzu puppy for me and for Thomas. And yeah, that's just like the whole story. This all happened so, so quickly because I genuinely did not think that this little puppy was like going to be available. So it all just happened so quickly, but I'm so excited. We're picking him up today. I don't know if this is going to be a complete surprise to you because if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I did ask for any of your recommendations for any dog shelters or animal shelters to donate to in the Virginia DC area because that's where I live. And I got so many recommendations. Thank you guys. I'm going to leave all the recommendations in the description box but I did want to donate to a local shelter or rescue but just because I know that I'm making the decision to get my shih tzu puppy as like a baby from a breeder and I did do my research to make sure this was all very ethical and that I was doing the right steps to get a little puppy but it was sitting in my head and weighing on my heart that I wasn't adopting so I do want to just support my local shelter in any way so we'll do this when I get home but I did a lot of research I took your recommendations and I'm going to donate $500 to my local shelter called Lost Dog and Cat Rescue I'm going to leave more information about Lost Dog and Cat Rescue in the description box if you guys are interested but they're just an amazing organization they're in DC Virginia and I just wanted to do my part in some way to show support for my local shelter so that's I think all of the context I have for you guys right now. We are around an hour away. We're in Starbucks right now. Thomas is getting coffee and we are so close. I'm so excited. I will tell you guys his name a little bit later on, but this vlog is just going to be me taking him home, spending the whole first day together, first night together, and I'm going to have a whole series too of like living with a new puppy, things that we're learning, and just everything. And when we get home today, I want to show you guys everything that we got to kind of like prepare for our puppy. So that's everything. I can't wait for you guys to see him. And yeah, I'll see you very soon with the little puppy. I stepped outside just to let my legs breathe. But this is one of the podcasts that Thomas and I have been listening to to prepare for our puppy. This is called Your New Puppy Podcast. 
And you guys, this is such a good podcast. You guys have to check them out. They're like five to 10 minute episodes. They go through like different topics of whether they're a puppy or whether they're like an older dog that you're adopting. There's so many helpful episodes. There's like over 75 episodes. And so Thomas and I have just been listening to these throughout the last two weeks to help prepare us. And yeah, I needed to share this because if any of you guys are getting a new puppy or if you're struggling with something with your current dog, I would definitely, definitely recommend your new puppy podcast. The person who hosts the podcast, Debbie, she's actually a dog trainer too and she's just so concise very helpful with her tips and it's a really really good podcast so i would definitely recommend this we have coffee this is just a regular cold brew black thank you thomas how excited are you i'm so excited. i'm so yeah okay <laughs> a gas station and this little boy was so good he did a nice pee pee outside now you're tired oh my gosh you guys he's literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> say hello so the fact that it's two different breeds is not a big deal at all the fact that you want to switch the location good boy Yes, we're home. But he's so small. Come here. Come here. Yes. Yes, look at this little tail. Oh, actually, no, it's Oh, my goodness. Look at that little tail. You're so excited. You're so excited. You're in your new home. Aww. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, do you like your little crate? Oh. Okay, something that we're doing is putting a positive association with the crate. So we put a little bit of treats, just like little bits and pieces, a little bit of kibble, and then some water so that he knows that he gets these really yummy treats when he's in his crate and he's learning to love his crate. So that's something that we learned from the podcast and from other YouTube videos that we were watching. We just want him to enjoy the crate and to know that the crate is not a bad place. You like your crate. You're so cute. You're so cute. We also just put his collar on. This is a baby collar that we got for him that hopefully should last him a while. And he's definitely itching at it. He's just very like, this is all so new to him, but we just really want him to be comfortable with it. So I think he's already getting used to it. And if he's sleeping in his crate, that's a really good thing. Baby is so tired. Speaking of the crate, this is one of the things that we got in preparation for our puppies. So we have this crate from Chewy. We got basically everything from Chewy. This crate is from Chewy and it's really nice because it has a divider. So when he starts to grow bigger, we can get rid of this divider and then make the crate kind of more his size. But this was the size recommendation too, just like a little bit of room to move and some water and some food. Then we got this crate cover from Chewy too. It's really nice because it has an open flap on the side and on the front. So hopefully this will become like his den, something that he really likes. It's honestly such a good sign that he's already sleeping here. This is like the big, big focus of the first three days. There's like kind of zero expectations, but if there's anything to do, from day one is try to teach your puppy its name, learn to love the crate and start potty training like immediately. So that's the big focus of today and the next couple of days, but he's so cute. What a good little sweetie. And then he had no accidents on the car ride back too. He has just been an absolute angel, you guys. I think he's so beautiful. 
I really like the crate cover because it makes it a little bit darker, but since you can lift up the flaps, he can just look over and see that we're right here and the crate is in the living room. So we're kind of always in this whole entire room anyways. So he'll always be able to see us if he wants or we can put it down when he's sleeping and yeah. But, but for now, since it's literally day one, like minute one, we just want him to be accustomed to it and just familiarize with it. So not doing too much at once. Gosh, what a little sweetie. He's so sweet, yeah. Um, it's been like a few months, I'm sorry. But... This is the wet food that he's been eating. It's Purina 1+. Hi guys, it is 9.45 now. This was like a first day getting our puppy day and I'm gonna film a whole entire like first week having a new puppy while also working because I didn't take any PTO. I really wish I took at least like three days of PTO right after I knew I was getting my dog just because I think it would help me kind of train him a little bit better, but it's okay. I'm just gonna work around it because I do work from home. So it just means I'm gonna have to log on a little earlier or log off a little bit later so I can leave time in between to walk him and stuff. And since it's the end of the day, I do wanna tell you guys what we named him. His name is Beast. <laughs> It's like this whole inside joke slash like long story that Thomas and I have. We've been dating since high school and we essentially use this emoji on Facebook Messenger just because he used to have an Android back in high school. And then we just kind of always kept using Facebook Messenger as like how we talk to each other because it's like secluded from iMessage and everything. I just know if I have a messenger notification, it's from Thomas. So we've always used Facebook Messenger and one of the emojis on Facebook Messenger that we use is called Beast, and it's just like this white puppy and then we found out the sticker was named Beast like back in high school And so we've always kind of said if we ever got a dog we would name it Beast So that's what we're doing and I'm really excited about it. I think it's really cute This is gonna be like a 10 pound Beast and I'm so excited and I love him so much. This was honestly such a good first day But I also know that the next like three days in general is just I should expect nothing Like I know that this is really just like a transitional period for my dog to get acclimated to my environment and his new home and everything So I'm not gonna think too many patterns, but he was really 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 good today Very cooperative very sweet very calm So I really hope it lasts but you guys will just have to subscribe if you want to see the rest and I'm really excited and we will pick up this vlog again tomorrow lastly i do want to show you guys the homepage of lost dog and cat rescue foundation which is based out of arlington and just in the whole dc virginia metro area this is literally the homepage. like your donation will directly support the lost dog and cat rescue foundation i'm still waiting for my email confirmation i'm really happy to support the lost dog and cat rescue foundation thank you guys so much for your recommendations again i feel really good about this now i'm going to show you guys a clip of me and thomas trying to teach Beast his name and it's just really cute because I think he's learning but we just have to keep doing this for the next couple of like weeks months so that he learns his name learns to love his crate learns how to focus on us and then learn like tricks and how to be obedient and everything I'm really excited so you guys should stick around subscribe and see all the vlogs to come and I also realized right now I didn't show you guys my whole Chewy haul but honestly I've accumulated so much you just need the basics you need like a couple of toys, a crate, blankets, towels, food bowls, food mat if you want one, and food. And I think that's really everything that I got. So I will show you guys next time what everything looks like. And I guess that's it. Hey, Pete. Aww. Hey. Oh, he's a little too. Beast. Beast. Come here. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Beast. Beast. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Come here. Come here, Beast. Come here. Come here, Beast. Come here. Yes. Good boy. Oh, 
good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're so cute. Come here. Look at mommy. Beast, look Come at here. mommy. Look at mommy. <laughs> Good boy. And he's back. Here he is. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. <gasps> Say thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's so cute. You love me. This morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so happy. That's Dad. Good boy.